Hey guys, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Blake. And we're with Useless Hobby Limited. Today's video is going to be featuring Thatcher. Wait. It's going to be featuring Thatcher! Thatcher! <laughs> you stuck his nose in my mouth, ew. So Thatcher's a dachshund. Thatcher! Three years old, and his birthday is coming up. So he'll be four. And then he will be 21 years old in doggo years. And so, uh, yeah, we're probably not going to give him a beer because that's unsafe. But... Well, uh, I have dog beer now. If y'all want to see Thatchy trying some beer, uh, comment below and let us know. Today we're talking about nail care with the Snoof. We call him the Snoof because he's a hound dog and he's got a quite a big honker. Look, just look at that. That is, that is glorious. The, that The Snoof. If you like his snoot, leave a like. <laughs> All right, Thatchy, we'll let you go. Uh, and get down to business. So we basically gave Thatchy a spa day. Um, he was in severe need of a bath, and he stunk, and his nails were a little long, so we just kind of gave him the whole kit and caboodle. And he had stink breath. We ended up um, doing that entire group of spa videos and realized that we had so much information for you all. It was like... 45 minutes of just straight. We broke it down into pieces, and this one in particular that we're gonna show you today is gonna show you how to clip your dog's nails correctly. Now, if you're anything like me, or like Rob, um, when we first got Thatcher, we were terrified to trim his nails and also did not know how to do it correctly. Um, and I had had dogs before, but I usually just either took him to the groomer or I just like tried to clip off the little tiny end pieces because I was so afraid of cutting too far into the nail bed. Yeah. So we're gonna show you the quick and painless and easy way to clip your dog's nails because more than likely if you were like us, you have been doing it wrong this whole time. Ah! <laughs> look, you got Thatcher all excited. Where are you going, bud? Oh look, there's his dopey dog face. I love when he makes a dopey weedy face. Oh, he's like, excuse you. He's like, um, that is my dignified, I am a little tuckered out face. <laughs> Not my dopey dog face. That is offensive. Sorry, Fetch. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't mean oh, to. Oh, there it is again. He's like, it's all right, guys. <laughs> Everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, without further ado, roll the tape. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is how to trim Thatcher's nails. So first things first, you're gonna need nail clippers. I would highly recommend that you get dog nail clippers um, because dog nails are very thick. Also, um, you can just kind of get these at the dollar store. They're pretty easy to find. Now, something that you have to be careful with, uh, and I specifically have to be careful with with Thatcher um, because he has black nails is that um, dogs have veins in their nails. So if you trim too close to uh, like the bed of the nail, they can actually get severely injured. So I was always, before I had him, um, and before actually the person that I got him from sh uh, showed me how to properly do his nails, I was kind of terrified to do it. Um, but this little trick that I'm gonna show you is an easy way to kind of learn how to do it correctly and make sure that you're not going to get too close to the, that nail bed. I will say it's not Thatcher's favorite thing to do. Um, so he might wiggle a bit, but for the most part, he's pretty good. Um, when you have a puppy and you're just starting to teach them, you know, how to do their nails and things like that so they'll sit for you, you really wanna sit with them and play with their paws. So like, I would just sit here and kind of rub Fatchy's feet get them used to um, you know, having their feet handled because some dogs, if you don't teach them that young, they won't let you touch their feet at all. And so you'll see Thatchy just kind of lets me do whatever I want because he trusts me. But you gotta kind of teach them when they're little, especially weenie dogs because they're very stubborn. He's like, um, excuse me, I think you made your point, mom. Yes, I think we did, okay. All right, so let's get to it. So first things first, for Thatcher, excuse me, um, he has very fuzzy feet, as you can see, and sometimes that can kind of get in the way. I don't like to trim the fuzz around his feet, um, mostly because it doesn't really, it doesn't really hurt him to have it, and I kind of think it's cute, to be honest. Also, it grows back so fast that it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, 
And not to mention, I just think it's kind of cute because it makes his feet look like he's little booties. But I do have to kind of pull his um, hair away from the nail so that I can see because he is fluffy. And when it gets out of hand, I do trim it from time to time. I'm not going to do that this time um, because it's kind of time consuming, but I will show you how to do his nail. So first things first, um, here I'll start with one of the middle ones because they're longer and easier to see. So you see his, his nails are actually pretty long right now. Um, I haven't had a chance to trim them in a minute. So when you hold their nail um, and their foot, you're gonna hold and you're gonna press down on the joint. So you see how his foot, his, his nail kind of goes from um, being curled to being more straight. And you see at the end here where it starts to curve, that's the part that you wanna cut off. You don't wanna go up here, um, you know, cause that gets really close to the nail bed. You only wanna trim the edges off of the nail. Excuse me, excuse me, can I see your foot? Thank you. Uh, and that's very important because their nails are a lot longer than ours and um, you actually don't really have to usually trim that much off of them. Okay, so we're gonna push down on his nail bed and move his hair out of the way here. And I'm only gonna cut off the part that is curved under, okay? I hate that noise. Sit still, I know you don't like it. I'm sorry. All right, so that actually cut a little under, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. Now, sometimes something that used to scare me when I first got him and was first learning how to do his nails is sometimes they'll pull um, their foot when you're trying to cut. And um, you won't necessarily even cut, you know, too close to the nail bed. It'll just more be that um, you pulled their toe. So I try to really keep a firm grasp on his foot. And when he starts to pull away, I start pulling back. And that kind of teaches him, okay, I, I'm not going to move my foot. And I'll even tell him, you know, I'm trying to cut your nail. Keep your foot still for me. And he, he listens actually pretty good. I think he understands more um, than most people give him credit for. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to press down on the nail bed here. We're only gonna cut the part that's curved off. There we go. See, that's not so bad, is it? But I do need your head out of the way, please. Thank you. Okay, excuse me. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Now one thing, excuse me, let me see. I need to show them. One, one part that's kind of hard, and it's always the hardest, is his, on the front feet, they're, I guess, like their thumb toe. Because it's more curved and it's closer to the skin, I really have to be careful when I'm doing this one because it's just hard to get to, and it's like in a weird spot on his foot. So I'd say that's my least favorite one to do. And honestly, like normally I actually start with that one because he sits more still in the beginning. See, he's starting to get stubborn. He's like, excuse you, I would like to put my head where I'd like it. Stop. Let me finish. We're almost done. He's like, this is taking longer than usual, mom. I like it. All right. Let me see. Move your nose so I can see. Move your nose. Thank you. So actually um, what I do too, because the way that these cut sometimes are blunt um, and it leaves their nails a little bit sharp, is I'll actually get a nail file and I'll file different parts of his nails that are super sharp just because he's little and he'll jump up when he's excited to see people. And I don't want his nails to slice somebody or me or Rob or the cat when they're playing. Don't hide your foot from me. Do you see what he's doing right now? He's hiding his foot from me like, What's the word? I'm trying to be all, all smooth. I see what you're doing, mister. I need this foot toe back, please. Thank you. No, let me have it. No. <laughs> you're being stubborn today. <laughs> well, to be fair, we dogs are kind of always stubborn. If you don't know that about them, they're actually a very, very stubborn breed. And um, if they can, they'll get away with a lot. Like, and if they think they can get away with it, they usually will try to get away with it. 
You have to be very consistent with weenie dogs. I know, we're almost done. Don't like it. No. One thing that I think is important um, <clears throat> when you're doing, say, trimming his nails he's not the biggest fan of, um, is to give him a lot of positive praise. You know, tell him they're good, doing a good job. It helps to calm them down, I've noticed. Um, and you know, it's just nice to know that you're appreciated. I think all people and living beings appreciate being appreciated. Let me have their foot, buddy, we're almost done. Damn, this foot is fuzzy. Can you see your toe, bud? Last one. As you see, I kind of have to hold him down when I'm um, trimming his nails, which is part of why I did that first. Um, when he was a puppy, I used to start off by giving him a bath and then doing his nails, and then I would be soaking wet. <laughs> well, guys, hope you liked that video. Uh, the beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, adorable Blake. I think she did an excellent job at showcasing the not so scary part of grooming your dog's nails. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> so I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. And if you have any other tips that you'd like to tell me about, put them in the comments below. Yeah. I would love to hear it. For real. Uh, we try to do everything that we can to take care of our dogs and stuff. We'll really just kind of... <laughs> You help though. Yeah, no, I I know. I just like when we're li like in bed or whatever, watching TV and you know not really paying attention to the show because we're both on our phones. <laughs> um, you're more likely reading an article about like you know dog care. You're looking up cat care or something like that. You know, looking up uh, or you know, you're just oh, this is the shots that they need, and I'm over there looking at the news and politics. How depressing. Wah, wah, wah. If you want to stay tuned, next week we. Uh, Go over Thatchy's bath time, and we kind of just get really into into detail. And um, if you guys are a little lost in how to groom your pet, or what soaps or shampoos to to that we utilize, um, yeah, we we go over that in the video. And, and the skincare routine. Yes, Thatcher has a skincare routine. Yes, he does. That's hard to say. Skincare routine. There we go. <laughs> like I was saying, skim scare, skim scare. <laughs> So if you want to see Thatcher's skin if you want to see Thatcher's skin care, why can't I say that right now? Skin care routine. If you want to see Thatcher's skin care routine, tune into our next video next week on Thursday. Next Thatcher Thursday. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss it because, I mean, the week's just come and, <laughs> come and go. Hope you guys have a good one and may the wind be at your back.